Hello everyone, welcome to Ultimate Blogs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a product table like this in WordPress blog editor. At first, I would try to make it with WordPress native table blog and then I would try to create it with a blog plugin called Tableberg. I hope after seeing this video, it would be easier for you to take the decisions that what would be your go to table builder. So let's get started. First, I'm going to the post editor and clicking on the plus sign writing table selecting the native table plugin that wordpress provide okay here you have to choose your rows and columns so i'm selecting four columns and five rows click on create table here you would get a basic skeleton according to your input so at first i'm enabling header section so i'm leveling my header first one would be product okay then specifications then ratings and last of all prices well so look as there is no sub block in here i can't add my product images so i need to write them like product name one product name two product name three product name four you can write down your specific product name okay as nothing much to do in here i am shifting to specifications during writing specifications of the product you may want it as a list item but unfortunately here is no list item in here so you may try using dash uh, dash like resolution dimension weight and any other specs as this is a dummy table i am copying this and pasting this into other rows ratings I am adding random ratings like 5 out of 5, 4 out of 5, 4.7 and so on. Okay. Now in this rating section, I want my text into middle. So let's try to do this. Just select the text and go to tools here, change column alignment and align column into center. And look, when you are changing a single cell, it is affecting the rest of the cells. Sometimes it could be a problem, but now it's fine. It looks a bit better. Lastly, in price section, you want to add a button, right? But here, there is no option to add a button. Instead of that, you may add a link here, amazon.com to say, okay. So with the native travel blog, you may get this kind of result. Now, Let's try to create the same table with Tableberg plugin. Same way, go to the post editor, click on the plus sign here and write Tableberg. Click on the Tableberg and select your rows and columns. I need four columns and four rows. Click on create table. Now see, we are getting a basic skeleton of our table as our input like previous one. It's a bit different though. Now from the right hand side toolbar, I'm enabling table header. Look, here is the instruction everywhere. Type slash to choose a block or slash slash to use content AI. So first, I need my levels like previous one, products, specifications, and then ratings and prices. Now let's see what we can simply do with this table plugin. Click on the first column. Here, I want to add my product photos. Here you'd find a plus sign. So I'm clicking on the plus sign and amazingly, you'd get some sub blocks here. So I got the image block. You may upload it from your device or you may select it from your media library. Okay. So at the first place, you may don't get the exact width and height of the image. So you can adjust it later from here at the right side panel, like width 120. So in the next row, I'm typing slash. By typing slash, you'd get the same thing like image button list. I'm selecting image and as the same way, I'm selecting it from my media library. Here, I have added all the four images of my products. Now, at the second column, I want to add their specs. So to describe my product specifications, I want to add a list here. Type slash and select list. As simple as that. So resolution, weight, display, and material. Another simple and interesting thing here is you may use it as your sub item like this. And this possibility is making it more dynamic. So let's copy this and paste them into everywhere. Now in this rating section, I am typing as previous. Now let's align them into middle. Okay. So here is the interesting thing to notice that 
when you work with a single cell customization only affecting on that cell so others are remaining the same so it gives you the extra power to make your table more dynamic and more customizable you may customize your each cell of your table as your own so lastly at the press section you may want to add a button here let's type slash click on the button now see we have got a customizable button so adding text like check price so i want to place the button in the middle so copying the button and paste it into other rows now our table is almost ready now what we can do further with this plugin let's explore an important thing is table width so you can set your table width with this slider like this or if you need more you can customize it like 1200 so here's the initial and let's switch to style step to see further like you may change the header background color even row background color so i can change it i want to change it a bit something like a subtle change my even row background color has changed now see it is separating the data sets from one to another what we can do further here is a settings called cell padding when you are increasing it see how it is affecting it is up and down padding and it is left and right padding how amazing is this now your table is more lively so in this border section we are seeing two parameters like table border size it is outer border of the table and inner border size this is inner border of the table surprisingly if you want to disable inner border you may proceed look there is no border in here and another interesting thing is here is this button click on here and see you can customize your border even further i want 10 pixel upper border 3 pixel left border look it's appearing here this is the power of this plugin so here is the ultimate result so i have shown you both wordpress native table block and table block plugins so now it's your decision which one would be your go to wordpress table builder Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.